If you often find yourself littering your controllers with a bunch of filtering logic for your eloquent results, then a custom collection is probably a good idea. Here's an example. I have a video eloquent model, but when I fetch a collection of them from the database, I want to programmatically group them according to a time span. I'll show you two ways to deal with this. First up, you could add a new collection method to your model, accept an array of models, and then return a new instance of your custom collection. Let's call ours video collection, and we'll send through the models. Now, open up that file. I've already done it, and have it extend Laravel's collection class, and you can begin adding your filtering logic. Why don't we call this group by relative date, and I'll paste this in. And here we go. We use the group by method on the collection instance, and then we inspect the publish that timestamp for each video. Sort of like items on a conveyor belt. We check, where you published today, you go in this group. Yesterday, that group. Last week, this group over here. Now, we have three collections. Within my routes file, we will fetch all videos from the database, and then we'll call our new group by relative date filter method. All right, let's die and dump the results. And take a look. We now have a video collection that consists of three items. And each of those items is itself a collection. One for today, one for yesterday, and one for last week. But now, as it turns out, in the latest version of Laravel, if you prefer, you can skip this step right here and instead reference a PHP attribute like this. Collected by, reference our video collection, and we are done. Let's try one more time in the browser. Yep, we still get a video collection grouped by time span. Very cool.